despite all of the advances that we've made in the way that we treat heart disease, heart disease continues to be the leading health problem in this country. So as a researcher, I've decided to change that. My research interests focus on the plaques that build up in the walls of the blood vessels. These are the plaques that cause heart attacks and stroke. And I'm interested in understanding how they form and to look at therapies that may have a positive impact on them. So heart disease continues to be a really important issue for researchers and for all Australians. We know that each year more than 50,000 Australians will have a heart attack and Australia spends more money on heart disease than any other area of health. And this is despite all of the advances that we've made over the last three decades. We've had a number of new therapies, whether it be devices or medications, which have really changed the outcome for many patients with heart disease. But despite all of that, we're still faced with the fact that it's a leading cause of death. And so it tells us that as good as the changes that we've made have been, we need new therapies and new approaches to reduce the risk of heart disease even further. The Victorian Heart Hospital is a once in a generation opportunity for this university and it's going to embed teaching and research inside the building. So it's an opportunity because it will bring the researchers to where the patients are. We started the Bystander CPR program because as paramedics we realised if we get to a cardiac arrest and nothing's happened before we get there, the patient has very little chance of survival. At the moment, only 10% of people survive out of hospital cardiac arrest. If we can get people doing bystander CPR, we can raise that rate to 23% of people surviving. And if they use a public access defibrillator before EMS, before the paramedics get there, we can raise that rate to over 80% of people surviving. Over the past few months, we've done CPR events for a number of sports clubs in the local area. We teach bystander CPR to kids as young as seven, and this is just trying to teach as many people in the community how to do bystander CPR and use an AED. Any CPR is better than no CPR, and that's the message we want to get out.